Indian agriculture is on the crossroads. Younger generation is moving away from their farms. Shortage of farm laborers is one of the major problems. As a result, farm mechanization is getting more importance. Many machineries and power tools have entered our farms. Even the traditional farmers started using such machines. However, any technology is not totally perfect and cannot replace entire labor force. We may have to make changes in our farming system, crops and varieties. Even then, for the continuation of farming, farm mechanization is inevitable now. Multipurpose weed cutter, motorized milking machine, electric fence, astra dryer and polytunnel dryers are shown in detail. This weeding machine has become multi-purpose equipment now. It is a common practice to cut off the mulberry plant at the base once in a year. Manual pruning is cumbersome and labor intensive. Weeder is being used by attaching this special circular blade for this purpose. Mulberry pruning has become easy and fast with this equipment. Still dealer from Tamil Nadu has designed a special tiny cage wheel attachment. This is useful for weeding in paddy transplanted in rows. This operation helps for better tillering also. This equipment saves lot of labor necessary for manual weeding. This paddy weeder is popular in SRI method of paddy cultivation and also in transplanter planted paddy fields. Clean the udder and the teats as usual. Then open the vacuum and attach the milking tubes to the teats. It attaches itself firmly due to vacuum. The milking tube presses the teats gently like this and takes out the milk. It does not suck the milk. Milk flows to the collecting can through these tubes. Now the flow of milk is seen clearly through these transparent tubes. Hold the milking tubes pulled down gently like this once the milk flow recedes. This helps to take out leftover milk in the udder. Delay in detaching the milking tubes after milking is over will not create any problem. Blood will never come out as many innocent people suspect. Traditional fences cannot stop wild bears, deers, bison, elephant and human beings. But this electric fence can keep away all of them. This is quite useful even in cities to protect properties and big compounds. There is no life threat by this legally permitted fencing system. But the person touching the fence will never forget the shock in his lifetime. The main working principle of the electric fence is the flow of very high voltage of electric current once in a second in the metal wires of the fence. But there will be no continuous flow. This gives shock but no chance of casualty. Hence, this is a systematic method of chasing away the animals entering the farm. Flow of maximum of 10,000 volts and 6 joules energy is allowed in the fence in our country. Authorized manufacturers of the fence unit need to get clearance from CPRI and State Health Department and quality certification from BIS. Hence, this electric fencing system is totally legal and safe for the farmers.
फ्यूल एफिशियंट चूल्हा हॉट एयर कम स्मोक टनल एंड ड्राइंग ट्रेज आर द मेन कॉम्पोनेंट्स ऑफ दिस ड्रायर वी कैन फैब्रिकेट ड्राइयर्स ऑफ एनी साइज डिपेंडिंग ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट द वॉल ऑफ द स्मॉल ड्रायर इज फैब्रिकेटेड by placing a layer of glass wool between two thick iron sheets this big dryer is built with hollow tile bricks both this glass wool and hollow brick avoids escaping of heat from inside the chulha at the bottom is a fuel efficient astra type firewood pieces and agriculture waste is used as fuel this air vent supplies air for proper burning of the fuel hot air and smoke pass through this tunnel releasing heat inside the dryer but there is no chance of leakage of smoke inside smoke goes out through the smoke outlet at the top this thermometer is fitted to measure the temperature inside this is the moisture outlet for the escape of moisture generated during drying process even the exhaust fan may be fitted to take out excess moisture collected inside when the material spread is too wet this helps for speeding up of the drying process temperature inside the dryer is regulated by increasing or decreasing the fire in the chulha it is better to construct the dryer under roof to facilitate drying in the rainy season This poly tunnel is similar to regular poly house constructed for horticulture purpose. Skeleton is erected with GI pipes of required size and shape. UV stabilized poly sheet is fitted on the structure. This poly sheet withstands direct sun for at least 5 to 6 years. Horticultural poly house is designed to maintain normal temperature. and high humidity but this poly tunnel dryer has to keep high temperature and low humidity to achieve this the poly tunnel is constructed on a platform at 3 to 4 feet height above the ground whereas the horticultural poly house will be on ground space below the platform is kept empty for free movement of air platform is constructed with locally available wooden materials keeping enough gaps for air movement shade net is spread on the platform to facilitate drying of products air inside the poly house gets heated up by the sun as the hot air rises up cool air enters the poly tunnel through the platform this circulation of air speeds up with the rise in temperature inside the poly tunnel hot air goes out through this vent provided at the top this process dries the products spread on the platform this is the mechanism of drying in this poly tunnel if this poly tunnel is built on the ground one cannot expect this systematic circulation of air and quick drying of the product